In this video, we can talk about the Chimera, one of the most used um, analog circuit block in a chip design. So essentially, usually um, in a chip design, we have one block dedicated to generate a uh, current reference, and then that current reference is copied everywhere by Chimera. Um, let's take a look at the first. First of all, let's take a look at this. Um, Chimera, um, very simple. On the left side is the I reference, which is generated by that current reference block. So, and then we have M1 here at the bottom, and then M2 is on the other side. So, since M1 and M2 has the same VGS, as we mentioned before, right? VGS has a huge impact on the, the ID, IDS current, while the ID uh, VDS has very little impact on the, the, the I out here. So you have I reference here, and I out here could be a copy of I reference. That's how Karma works. So there's another thing we need to pay attention to is in order to for you know in order for this current mirror to work m2 need to be in saturation region in order for that one to be in saturation region v out here need to be you know essentially that's a drain of uh, m2 need to be 0.2 or 0.3 volts higher than the ground right to keep the m2 in saturation and okay, so but we still find out that the, later on we're going to show you a curve actually. Even with a structure like this, the I out still varies a little with the V out, right? Even though, it's, as I said, right, the VDS has very little impact on the I out, but still we see a little bit, you know, V out dependency. How to improve on that? The answer is to increase L. Right. Um, here we show you uh, three cases here. One is the, the the red one is the corresponds to L equal to one. The blue one is uh, the case with uh, L equal to ten micrometers. The green one is somewhere in between L equal to five micrograms. As you notice that actually for L equal to ten micrograms. The headroom is a little bit worse, right? So when we see headrooms, you see that the when VL goes lower and lower, uh, with the case of uh, L equal to 10 microamps, the I out start falling down a little bit earlier than the, the other two cases, right? Why? Um, well, actually, in order for the, the M2 to be in a saturation, V out need to be at least one V overdrive voltage. So for you know we, we kind of keep the W the same and then while increasing the L. That means for the same current, that means um, the overdrive voltage is higher for the for L equal to 10 micrograms. That's the reason V out uh, you can see that the out start dropping at the right of the higher V out. Right? So is any way you can improve on that? You know? So let's go to the next slides. Instead of using the simple topology, you know, left to right two transistors in total, we use cascode. So many ways to cascode the device. But this is a, in this slides we'll show you one way to do it. Essentially M3 M0 stack on top of M1, M2 as a cascode device. The, the reason cascode device, the I out has very little um, dependency on the V out is because this M3 here is more like a source follower, keeps this node Y voltage very constant. right? So the minute you have this one as a shield, no matter how much change on the V out, this voltage at the Y doesn't change too much. 
that makes the current IL current very constant over the wide range V out. Here's but here's the problem. So when uh, we're using this kind of cascode, the node n is essentially two VGS, right? So this node is going to be equal to this node. The voltage at this node is going to be equal to this node. Here's one VGS. Here's another VGS here. So one VGS down. So node y is sitting at around the VGS. So the minimum V out. So that uh, M3 going to be in such region is VGS plus 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 volts. So that's a bit too much, right? Is there any other better way to do it? Here's the sole way to do it. A better way is this, this is the the simple simple current mirror. This is the one way to cascode the device. But there's another way to do the cascoding is we use you know here input is one microamps we dump that more microamps through a two 200 kilo ohms resistor that give you 0.2 volts essentially we try to bias the drain of uh, this q9 here at the 0.2 um, point, point 0.2 volts it just keeps this um, keeps this q9 transistor um, right at the brink of um, its um, saturation region, right? Since right now the drain of this uh, Q9 is at the 0.2 volts, the minimum voltage as this node, so that uh, this Q8 could be in the saturation, saturation region is 0.2 plus 0.2, that's 0.4 volts. That's improvement. From the uh, from this topology, this topology is about uh, VGS plus 0.2 volts. So number three really is uh, kind of give you the best of both worlds. So let's take a look at the simulation result. Here's the simple camera, and this is the 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 first way of doing a cascading. This is the number three way, right? So essentially, you see that the number three, um, the I out is is very flat when compared with number one, and also the drop off region for number three is a lot lower, right? So when compared with the number two, it start dropping off the I out start dropping off at around the point six volts, I would say. While the number three has the drop off around the point two volts. Thank you for watching our video. If you like the video, please subscribe our channel.